Thank you. So I'd like to spend a priority to post this here as passing that bill to prevent the execution of people with severe mental illness. We'd also like to see the Task Force on Victim Services continue its work and effectively recommend some adjustments to the way we deal with that here in Ohio. We believe that there are, well, we don't believe, there are 13 of the 56 recommendations of the Supreme Court Joint Task Force on the Administration of Ohio's Death Penalty. 13 of their recommendations, if put into place, would help reduce the likelihood of wrongful convictions <coughs> and wrongful executions. And Kwame Ajama is here to be able to address that in one on one as well. And we'll be meeting with legislators about that today. Um, additionally, we think it's time to start talking about studying the cost of the death penalty. Let's find out just exactly how much money is being spent trying to execute it tiny percentage of Ohio's murderers. And could we do something better with that money? SMI, wrongful convictions, cost. There's a number of other things that if we could get Ohio's legislature to look at it among the recommendations, eliminating the felony murder rule, passing a racial justice act, making uh, making it so that there is a centralized committee to decide when a county prosecutor can seek a death sentence. These things will go a long way toward ensuring more fairness and accuracy in Ohio's death penalty until the point where this legislature is ready to end. That day is coming. So with that, we'll take questions. I'm wondering, uh, we had the revelation, thanks to my colleague, Mr. Uh, uh, Welsh Huggins here, about the new drugs that the state has now procured. What's the, anyone, I guess, is the, the question is, now the state has the drugs that they said they couldn't get before. Are, is the concern that these are gonna go ahead now, that we have enough for a dozen or maybe dozens of executions if this machinery rolls on? I think that, you know, as for the course to decide as to whether there will be, um, so the question was about um, what, what we think regarding the, the, the fact that, as was reported by the Associated Press earlier this week, that the state now has way more drugs than they need to conduct the number of executions, 28 executions currently scheduled. Um, and, and again, I would say that, you know, for us, it's not a question of how we kill our prisoners, it's that we do so. Um, it's for the courts to sort out whether it's constitutional to have a guy who's conscious and suffering um, as they suffocate him. Um, but that's, uh, you know, there's, there's a whole project that we refer people to to talk about the specifics of the lethal injection execution process. Um, maybe the legislature will decide to seek something simpler, presumably more simple, but a different form of execution as other states have done. We're not advocating that. For us, we're advocating to make sure we're not going to the right person, make sure the system is fair, and really, let's do something different. There are alternatives to the death penalty that a majority of Ohioans prefer when asked. You know, those polls, when they say they support the death penalty, yes or no, you get a majority of people saying that they support the death penalty. But when you ask the question differently, would you prefer life in prison without the possibility of parole instead of the death penalty? Um, more Ohioans prefer that. And that's our job today, is talking to legislators, talking to understand that, help them understand that people don't vote on this issue. You know, people are not gonna hold legislators accountable if they pass reform legislation, or even if they pass a bill to repeal the drug penalty. That's, it just doesn't happen. Um, and we've seen that repeatedly in New Mexico, uh, uh, New Jersey, New Mexico, Illinois, Connecticut, Maryland. Uh, it's too soon to tell them in, in uh, Nebraska, that there was people that were challenged based on their votes there, but in general, legislators who, in other states, who have passed a bill to repeal the death penalty have not held that used against them in subsequent uh, re-election attempts. So, you know, people don't vote on this issue. Most people aren't even aware of this issue. Yes. Good. <clears throat> 